Okay, I'm back. I just had to answer the phone real quick. So, uh, what was that? Alright, we sure laugh as I finish peeling off the last of the old wallpaper. Alright, let's paint. Can you hear that again? Okay. So, I'm going to be honest. If, you know, paint brushing along the wall hadn't been displayed there, I have no idea what this sound would be. The painting took twice as long as the cleaning, but we managed to get it done. And done. Good work, kid. Why, thank you, Rory. You didn't do too bad yourself. I give a sarcastic bow. So now what? I look up and notice that it's starting to get dark. Ah, crap. Crap? What's wrong? I lost track of time. I check my phone and find four texts from Mother and two missed calls from Mom. We're late for dinner. No wonder I'm starving. Let's get home, Desi. So what else did you bring? One of my posters. I was going to take it down soon anyway since the band broke up, but I might as well hang it up here. Cool. I brought a poster too. That is not as awesome as my poster. You lose that bet. What does that say? Nano Reaper? Huh. We hang our posters on opposite ends of the windows. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Look, I brought the soccer ball my coach gave me. You don't need that at home? Yeah, Mom always gets annoyed when I use it at home. Probably because you're always kicking it off the walls of the house. I might get annoyed, though. That seems like a you problem, Rory. Okay, that's a very sister thing to say. I stick my tongue out at Desi, who proceeds to kick the soccer ball right at me. I jump out of the way as the ball sails past me, hitting the old wardrobe and knocking it open. And a skeleton falls out! No, I'm just kidding. Dude, are you trying to take my head off? If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. Oh, that's comforting. Just be careful, all right? Desi walks past me and inspects the now open wardrobe. What's in here anyway? I turn and take a peek inside myself. Oh, cool, an old chess set. I reach into the wardrobe, removing a marble chess set from one of the shelves. And actually survived your soccer ball attack. Lame. My comment is lame or the fact that the chess set survived is? Which one are you saying here? Desi also reaches into the wardrobe, pulling out two small cans of... What? Beer? More paint? Heck yeah, more paint! But we just painted the walls in here a couple days ago. Besides, those cans are tiny. What are you going to paint with that? I don't know, but I'll think of something. You have the material, gotta do something with it. Okay, give me a sec. I pop the lids off the cans and look at the colors. 
Looks like red and blue. Nighttime ambience. Quiet autumn ambience. Fall, one year later. Hmm. Hey Desi, you in here? I work my way up the stairs to the room, pushing the door open, as another set of footsteps follow behind me. Yep, just got back from practice. She stands by the window with her back to me, hanging a new picture up on the wall. I take a seat in my usual spot, and... She's, um, my girlfriend. Since when? <laughs> Couple days ago. Desi looks on in shock. Okay, but like, what is she doing here? I told you, she's... Why is she here? This is our secret base. Her face curls into a pout as Audrey bursts into laughter. This isn't going as well as I'd hoped. Yeah, well, little sisters and girlfriends tend to do that. It's not funny. It's kind of funny. Come on, go easy on her, Audrey. And Audrey's cool, Desi. Trust me, it'll be fun. But... Desi slumps down in resignation. And at least they didn't kill each other, thank God. How on earth did you two even get together anyways? Is it really that surprising? I turned to Audrey with a sly wink. Audrey's smart, confident, and we've known each other for so long anyway, it just felt natural. Audrey lets out a devious giggle. <laughs> yeah, keep the praise coming. Oh, there's plenty of praise. But first, why don't you return the favor? Audrey, what have you done with Rory? Nothing, nothing. Can't see how glad I am to be with someone as great as Rory. <laughs> Audrey smiles and returns my winking kind. Not that anyone wouldn't be happy with someone as popular as you, though. Desi sighs. I don't get it, but whatever. Just be good to Rory, okay? Audrey turns her head, grinning at Desi. Too good for Rory. Have you ever thought of that? I roll my eyes at Audrey's ever inflating ego. Yeah, sure, totally. So I brought some board games from home. You guys want to play for a bit? Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and end part one here. Um, so far, I mean, I don't have any complaints about the story. Uh, the music is fine. The big standout I have at this point is the technical complexity of the room itself. Uh, let me... Yeah. Uh, 
And he's like, I've been noticing as I proceed through the story, you know, the background is changing. Oh, and I can't go any further than this. Foo. Okay. So, but that's, you know, this is one of those things that, you know, as an aspiring developer myself, I'm kind of looking at that going, hey, that's a cool effect. Uh, and thinking about what it would take to implement that. So, one thing I'm... How do I put this? I'm going to reserve any further comments on, but I'm going to note it. Uh, let me... Yeah, so like... Yeah, so like these pop-up titles that announce, you know, different sound cues. Some of them are useful, like painting brush against the wall, because I'll be honest, the sound effect, I would never have placed that with you know, a paintbrush. Uh, but like this one, Quiet Autumn Ambience. I'm sort of like, was this a placeholder for something? So, but anyway, uh, that is part one of my look at vignette. Sure, join me for part two.